Mega Trends 2030. This presentation is a summary of the Global Trends 2030, which provides a framework for thinking about the possible future and their implications. The presentation on Mega Trends 2030 is an effort designed to encourage decision makers, whether in government or outside government, to think and plan for the long term. Analysis of mega trends is an important and key tool which can be used in, in fruitful and effective strategic planning for the immediate foreseeable future as well as the long to come future. Mega trends 2030 are categorized into four subsections which are individual empowerment, diffusion of power, demographic patterns, food, water, and energy nexus. Also, together with the Mega Trends 2010, there are game changers, which are as follows. Crisis-prone global economy, governance gap, potential for increased conflict, wide scope of regional instability, impact of new technologies, role of the United States of America. Now, in this presentation, I'm going to zero on, on mega trend three, which is demographic patterns. Demography is a statistical study of human populations. So it is projected that the world by 2030 global population will have grown up to close 8.3 billion from the current population of about 7.1 billion which can be translated to a 17 percent increase now so what does this mean it means it clearly shows that countries will face an uphill battle in maintaining their current living standards it's gonna be a battle why demand for both skilled and unskilled labor will lead to global migration also cases associated with severe challenges especially as a result of resource constraints is going to prevail Today's roughly 50% urban population will climb to nearly 60% by 2030, which is an estimate of about 4.9 billion people. Africa will gradually replace Asia as the region with the highest urbanization growth rate. Urban centers are estimated to generate about 80% economic growth the potential exists to apply modern technologies and infrastructure promoting better use of resources. Food and water pressures. Demand for food is expected to rise at least by 35 percent by the year 2030, while demand for water is expected to rise by 40 percent. Nearly half of the world's population will live in areas experiencing severe water stress by the year 2030. Fragile states, especially in Africa and the Middle East, are most at risk of experiencing food and water shortages. A new age migration. International migration is set to grow even faster than it did in the past 25 years. The factors promoting this movement, uh, cross-border migration, are likely to remain strong or even intensify from the current situation. These factors are globalization, changes in age structures across richer and even poorer countries, income inequalities across regions and countries, and the presence of migrant networks linking, sending, and receiving countries. Still on migration, 
climate change driven migration is likely to affect Africa and Asia far more than other continents because of dependence on agriculture in Africa and because of greater susceptibility to extreme weather events in these two continents, which are Africa and Asia. Drought-driven migration will be a gradual phenomenon. Projections on 2030 on Africa pointed to the growing numbers of migrants already spilling over from the Sahel region as it experiences increasingly drier conditions. Still on migration, Mega Trends 2030, it also projects that there's going to be flood driven migration, which will wipe out homes and infrastructures and significantly increase the perception of the risk of staying. Now, there's also going to be pronounced human capital migration. What does this mean? It means over time, governments may need to increasingly manage mobility rather than simply immigration as more short-term movement occurs in addition to permanent migration. More people, particularly the highly skilled labor, will have their feet in more than one country's labor market. The rise of more global labor markets will create the need for international institutions to set new standards. Technology, including widespread use of biometrics, will increase the capacity of countries to control entry, yes, but greater information flows will enable more people to become aware of opportunities for work, both in nearby and in distant places. So what does this mean? The internet and social media can also provide increased information on conditions in receiving countries and ways to better integrate migrants. Migrants are likely to remain attracted to backgrounds, but the IT revolution ensures greater and more real-time linkages to friends and family members in migrants' countries of origin. Now on urbanization. In Africa, we expect urban formation and expansion to help drive several constructive developmental trends, including urban-centered economic growth, smaller family sizes, and higher average educational attainment. Also, rapid urbanization could therefore give a boost to Africa's long-term competitiveness and social political stability. By 2030, few forested reserves, wetlands, and freshwater sources will be located on the perimeter of the impact zone of urban works. Rapidly growing, growing cities are likely to compete to secure fresh water catchment and land for housing growth, bringing greater prosperity to some nearby agriculturalists. But setting up further tensions over fresh water rights, water quality, and urban expansion, these tensions will lead to legal battles, pressure for policy reforms, and public calls for state intervention. Now, on game changers, technological breakthrough will be necessary to meet the food, water, and energy needs of the world's ever-growing population. Key technologies likely to be at the forefront uh, in this arena will include uh, genetically modified crops, precision agriculture, water irrigation, techniques, solar energy, and advanced bio-based fuels, and enhanced all game changers. Technological breakthroughs will be necessary to meet the food, water, 
and energy needs of the world's population. Now, by 2030, key technologies likely to be at the forefront in this arena will include the first one, genetically modified crops, precision agriculture, water irrigation techniques, solar energy, advanced bio-based fuels, and enhanced oil and natural gas extraction. Potential for increased conflict. Now on this dimension, it is in two categories. The first one, which is intrastate conflict. Currently, proportion of countries experiencing intrastate conflicts is on a decline. But by 2030, it is projected that most intrastate conflict will be characterized by irregular warfare, terrorism, subversion, sabotage, insurgents, and criminal activities. Then potential for increased conflict. Interstate conflict, which is another dimension. Currently, several interstate conflicts have occurred in the past decade, but the number is at its historical low. However, Mega Trends 2030 projects future wars in Asia and the Middle East, which could include nuclear element. Regional instability. Sub-Saharan Africa. The mega trends of population growth without aging, rapid urbanization, and middle class expansion will shape the trajectories of most African countries. Africans will be able to choose from best proven approaches and technologies in the developed world without necessarily needing to adopt and reform legal systems, but just rent seeking, patronage, populism, and corruption may tempt many and challenge long term planning. Now, it can clearly be seen and concluded from the demographic studies postulated in the Mega Trends 2030 that there is need to conscientize governments, corporates, and even individuals of the need to be aware of the future. Individuals need to appreciate what the soon coming future holds. Uh, Mega Trends 2030 also gives a guidance on which area to invest in and not to invest. Investment opportunities in Africa are going to set up. Why? By 2030, the quality of labor force will be both attractive and productive. Effective demand is going to rise up as the total population of countries is to also rise up. Currently, Africa has a lot of untapped resources. This will mean that the resources will be enough to meet the increased population. I thank you.